Fellow Christians, brothers and sisters, I have been a believer for over 20 years. I've heard so many times your prayers and your pleadings. And I remember so many times we were all crying out to God for a godly representative, for a godly leader that would rule over us, for a godly politician. And I believe that the time has come that God has answered our prayers and He has given us a man that is willing to stand up for our rights, that is willing to stand up for the cause of Christ, that is not ashamed of the name of Jesus Christ. As someone that has already been proving in the past month over and over again that he is not ashamed of the truth, the biblical truth, the truth that this great country that we call home, Canada, was founded upon. Jesse Rao, I'm sure you've heard about the bus driver that lost his job because he he would not participate in this homosexual tragedy that this country is facing, the homosexual perversion, pedophilia that is uh, highly being endorsed on all level of government right now, that they want to lower the consent uh, for having a sex with kids. Like it's, it's uh, I'm sure you've heard all those news. I don't want to talk about the news. You know them, you know what's going on in your country. I just want to challenge you because I believe the time has come that we can with one voice vote for someone according to our conscience, that we can stand up with the young man, a father of two, a husband of one wife, a man that is not afraid to speak that Jesus is the Lord and the King and that Jesus has standards and he's willing to stand up for those standards. I pray and I hope that you, my brothers, my sisters, will support that man. You can find him all over the news right now. He has a website, electjessirau.ca. There is a moment in a history, a time like the time of Joshua and David and Gideon to come behind a man that is willing to become our voice. I believe that we all can agree that Canada is going down very, very quickly. We can all agree that this is a, a slippery slope with the euthanasia being uh, struck down and uh, the law uh, that prohibits uh, murdering of uh, elderly and uh, disabled with abortion at the rampage of murdering over 100,000 uh, future children, the children that would one time defend us uh, as soldiers and heal us as doctors and help us as teachers and um, being a, a wonderful taxpayers but yet someone somewhere decided for them that no as a nation we don't want you and they end up in a slaughter house in abortion clinic we all can agree that canada is in trouble and what is our prayer good for if it's not if it's not creating action. I always say that love is action. I call you for action. I call you to do something. You can help with the election. You can help with signs. You can volunteer. You can sign a petition. You can send letters to your uh, members of parliament or to MLAs or to the city. But do something. Don't just go back to the four walls and pretend that nothing is happening. Don't just settle with the prayer. Prayer is the first step. But that step should trigger action. I call you for action, brothers and sisters. I call Gideons and Joshua's and David's. I call Esther's and Deborah's. Come out and stand up and let's take, our back, take, let's take back our country. For, if not for your sake, maybe you don't care as much as I care, but for the sake of our children, for our grandchildren, let's stand up with Jesse. Let's stand up with Jesse's that are all over this country. Let's support them. This is a perfect opportunity. In just two weeks, we're going to have an opportunity to vote for a man of con con conscience and convictions, a brother that is willing to speak in your behalf, an honest man, a man that is doing this for the right reasons, not for the money, not for political career, but for the cause of Christ, for Jesus Christ, for His righteousness. I'll tell you what will happen if you don't. You will go back and you will pray again and nothing will change. 
because a prayer without action is like faith without action. It means to God nothing. Because God will turn back and will say, you had opportunity to do something, you could do something, and you chose to go back to your four walls. See, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you what is going to happen if you will not do what's right. You see the pile of stones behind me? You know, I believe, I truly believe that if we will not do what's right, if we're not going to speak up for God, if we're not going to cry out, for the babies that are being murdered, slaughtered, they're like animals. If we're not going to stand up against perversion and manipulation and corruption and all those other things, if we're not going to do it, then I believe that God will raise a stones in your place and they will become his voice. They will become his apostles. They will become the prophets of the living God. I believe that we're going to miss and not only an opportunity, I believe we're going to miss our destiny. You see, every one of us is called for something great. I believe that in the kingdom of God, there are no sweepers. I believe in the kingdom of God, they are, they are heroes of faith. And I pray and I hope that you will become one of those heroes, like Jesse Raoul, like many others, like Linda Gibbons and Mary Wagner. And, and, and there is so many of wonderful people that are willing to stand up you see, sometimes, sometimes I feel like we are all alone. I feel that uh, like um, the great prophet that felt that there is no one else, that he's all alone and everybody is hunt, hunting him. But God said to him, there's 7,000 more. I'm calling out those 7,000. I'm calling you out. Become useful in the hands of God as a tool, like a double-edged sword. Do not believe, please, do not believe in the media propaganda. They will tell you everything to discredit people, men and women of God. They will tell you all kinds of stories that are not true, including with Jesse Raoul. I have been every time when the media was interviewing him, not once this man said that he's going to quit his job. He said he will refuse to drive that bus because it's ideology being forced upon employees and this sexual movement should not be forced on employees at Calgary Transit. But not once he said he's going to quit like a little kid. Oh, I don't like it, I'm going to quit. You see, media are liars. You, sh you have to believe they are in the hands of the enemy, the devil. They manipulate every story. They want you only to know what's bad for the cause of Christ. They did it with me. You know, I remember this time when they were showing a ticket that I enlarged for you to see. And on the ticket it said that I received a fine for feeding homeless. And yet the media reporter said it's for the sound system. They are liars in most part. Liars. They are manipulators. Call Jesse if you are concerned about his stance. Call myself, call others, call Linda Gibbons, Mary Wagner or others that are trying to do their best. Just don't shut them down immediately just because the media are a bunch of liars and manipulators. Stand up. Vote according to your conscience. Don't vote just because you don't like this party or that party. Vote according to your conscience. There is absolutely no candidate right now, at least in Signal Hill, that would stand up against abortion, that would stand up against homosexual perversion, that would stand up against pedophilia, that would stand up against euthanasia, that would stand up against the filth of corruption in the government. Jesse Rao is willing to do that. He's willing to do that for you, but most importantly, he's willing to do this for Jesus Christ without shame. He has my vote. I believe that he is going to get your vote as well. Spread the word around. Talk to your friends. Do what's right. I bless you. I want you to know that I love you. I love the church. I love Christians. I love true believers of Christ. And I hope that we'll see more believers like you. October 10th, God is giving us great opportunity to stand for the persecuted church. October 10th, City Hall, we received the permission to host a vigil for the persecuted church in Canada and in our, around the world. Jesse Raoul and others will stand in front of you and they will tell you their stories. You will be able to see them and talk to them. We will be able to light a candle 
for those that are being hunted down like animals, just simply for their fate. At noon, October 10th, City Hall in Calgary, come, come in solidarity, come and stand with your brothers and sisters. You know, maybe we cannot take them out of jail, maybe we cannot stop the hand of a murderer uh, in Islamic nations, but what we can do is we can remember them in prayer, we can remember them during the vigil, and we can say to the whole world, they are not alone, we remember. And we also can support those that are facing persecution in our own backyard, in our own city, in our own country. Come, be part of this, don't hide. Don't just go into uh, your four walls where it's comfortable and, and nice and, and you feel a sense of security. God is calling all of us out of our comfort zone. Go out there, preach the gospel to all creation. This is our opportunity. Come, I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.